Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. If you've never seen me before, my name is Brittany Gray. I'm owner and stylist at Beach Vibes Beauty Studio. Today I'm gonna be talking about body hair removal, my personal routine. I'm gonna give you guys tips for your first time potentially going to get a wax. I'm gonna give you guys some secrets to my hair removal routine. And also at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you guys a recipe for an at-home all-natural wax that you can use if you're brave enough. Before I get into the video, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please take a moment to subscribe. I upload new videos every single week. You won't regret it. So without further ado, let's get into it now. Okay, girls, we're gonna be talking about hair from head to toe, if you know what I mean. So let's start with the easiest method of hair removal that I use, and that is shaving. I shave my legs. I will also say the hair on my legs is blonde, it's fine, it's kind of, I mean, I can go a long time without shaving my legs if I wanted to, which I totally wouldn't do that. That's totally dreadful. I have some friends who literally have to shave their legs every day. I'm not one of those people. I probably shave my legs once a week. But again, my hair is very fine. It's very blonde. I also have um, the same kind of hair on my arms. My arms are pretty hairy, actually, but you can't tell from far away because the hair on my arms is blonde. Some of you guys may cringe, but I just use my Dove unscented soap and I use a men's razor. If you really want a super close shave, you want to go get a heavy duty men's razor, the kind that is metal, like a Mach 3 or Mach 4, Mach 5, whatever they have. And yeah, again, I just use unscented Dove soap, but I don't have any major hairy legs. I started waxing my own underarms when I was in beauty school. I did use a soft wax with a strip. I never had any issues with that. You know, the hot wax that you go, you put it on your armpit and then you strip it off. Actually, I think I have a video on that on my channel. It's a really old video. In between waxings, when I just have kind of a little bit of hair, I'll use an epilator. This is by MJoy and this is a dolphin. I love this one and this one is not expensive at all. This one is about $40 or something like that. I love this one so much that I lost my original one and then I went and got this one as opposed to one of those more expensive ones. I absolutely have no issues with that with this one and I like this because you can use it wet or dry. I don't really like using an epilator wet. Like something about it makes me feel like I'm gonna get electrocuted. It's kind of scary. But I like this one because it's kind of like, you know, it's about an inch and a half wide. And so it's kind of small, so you can use it in smaller areas. You can use this all over the body. I just use it for my underarms. I don't epilate anything else. An epilator is basically this little machine. I'll turn it on, it has a button here. And then it starts to, you can hear it. It's not a razor, so it's not shaving. In fact, these things right here are basically a bunch of tweezers and it's pulling the hair out. So you know how you tweeze your eyebrows? Now imagine a bunch of tweezers condensed into this space and then you can go over a larger space than just one tweezer so then it takes out a lot of hair all at once. Again, I like to use this for in between. Lastly, I'm going to get into my favorite method of removing hair. It's all natural and it's not pain free, but it's a lot less pain than any other method of removal. And that is sugaring. If you've never heard of sugaring, it's essentially waxing. It's a all natural wax you can make yourself or you can go to different studios or salons that do sugaring, but the wax is all natural. It's made out of sugar lemon and water and the great thing about sugaring is that the wax that's made out of sugar just clings to your hair and goes to your pore gets the hair all the way from the pore and it pulls it out that way versus a strip wax or a hot wax or a hard wax that can adhere to the actual skin and then you rip it off and then you might have some skin missing who knows sugaring is just safer, it's more natural, it's great for exfoliation of the skin. It's just it's just amazing, seriously. I try to tell all my friends about sugaring. Go get sugared. As I mentioned, there are different salons, at least where I live, that do sugaring. If you wanna find one near you, then you can look that up. Here in LA, two places that I've been sugared at 
are bronzed sugar. I've been to the Long Beach location and the Redondo Beach location. And I've also been to Sugaring LA in Santa Monica and in Manhattan Beach. So that's where I've gone to get a Brazilian wax. So if you do not know what a Brazilian wax, it is where they wax the hair from the front to the back. Okay, like smooth, nothing, 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 smooth as the day you were born. If you're thinking about potentially getting a Brazilian wax, go to a professional. You want to make sure that the girl who's waxing you has an esthetician license or a cosmetology license. There's nothing worse that I can think of than having, I don't know, wax stuck down there or burned down there or swollen or I don't anything can happen or an infection anything can happen okay so go to a licensed professional go to a clean place like i said those two places here in la are super professional super clean i have absolutely no complaints and i try to send everybody i know there okay and no this isn't sponsored now waxing is better for you than shaving because you're removing the hair from the root so then you get longer lasting results it's not like shaving where you feel like you have to do it every day or every two days or whatever with waxing you can go weeks without having to do it again and with sugaring you can go eight to ten days so you don't have to wait as long versus if you are using a soft wax you know the kind that's heated in a pot with a stick and a strip with that, you have to wait a couple of weeks for your skin to heal and everything like that. With sugaring, you can do it, again, about every 8 to 10 days, beginning at every 8 to 10 days. So I know somebody's probably thinking, how does it feel? How bad does it hurt? To me, it feels like a smack. So imagine if somebody just smacks your hand, but I guess smacks down there, but they smack you, right? It hurts for a second but it doesn't, it's not like excruciating and you're like, oh my gosh, I have to, you know, like this, I, I'm gonna cry. But then again, everybody's pain threshold is different. I honestly don't have a very high pain threshold and I can do it, so you can probably do it. If you're gonna go in for your first wax, you wanna grow for about four to eight weeks. Yes, that's a really long time. I know I've never grown to eight weeks, but I've grown to four weeks just to get started. And then I go in and the first one is the worst one, okay? After that, it gets better. The first one, you might wanna bring a stress ball or something to squeeze onto, but what I like to do to take my mind off the pain is I'll just keep talking to the girl who's waxing me because it, it lets me not think about it. If I'm just sitting there in silence anticipating the pulling or something like that, then I'm gonna have anxiety, I'm gonna, you know, it's just it's just gonna hurt a lot more. My body's gonna be tense. It's just not gonna be a good situation. So I like to go relaxed. I'll have a glass of wine before or when I get there. And then, so again, you wanna grow for about four to eight weeks or else a quarter of an inch long. All right, so you go in please take a shower before you go. That may go without saying to a lot of you girls, but I've talked to some waxers, and I'm not gonna name any names, but they're like, that is the one thing that is just, that makes me not like my job, is some people just don't take showers. So take a shower before you go, exfoliate in preparation, you know, be clean. So yes, prior to going in, you wanna exfoliate, you wanna shower, make sure you're clean, wear some loose fitting clothing, like I like to wear loose shorts or something like that, something that's not too tight or not super tight underwear, anything like that. Go in, you lay out on a table, you butterfly your legs. So butterflying is basically this. I can't do it standing up, but basically like this, right? But with both legs like that. And the girl will apply some baby powder and then she'll get to wax in, okay? After that, you wanna apply a light oil and then go on your way. Don't work out and don't take a shower. Just be in hot water or sweat or have sex or anything like that for a couple hours, I think, or at least an hour. So I recently started sugaring myself. If you're going in for your first time, again, I would suggest leaving it to the professionals, but I'm just showing you guys what I do for myself at home. Okay, girls, so now I'm gonna show you guys how I make my at-home DIY sugaring wax. I'm not gonna show you how I do it because that would be weird, but if you do want to 
learn how to sugar for educational purposes only. You can find videos like that online. They are age restricted for obvious reasons, but again, it's all for education. But yeah, if you wanna watch those types of videos to learn in depth, then go ahead and do that. But I'm just gonna show you guys how I make it and I'm gonna show you guys how I waxed a little patch of my arm here. I did it for you guys because I don't do anything with my arm hair, but I wanna show you guys exactly how to do it. So let's get into that tutorial now. To begin, we're gonna get a bowl and add one cup of sugar, white sugar, one quarter cup of water, and then I'm going to fresh squeeze a quarter cup of lemon juice. And then we're just gonna stir and mix this up really well. Now we're gonna heat this mixture up on the stove and I put the range at somewhere between low and medium. And we're gonna bring this mixture to a boil all while stirring the entire time. You'll know that your wax is ready when the color changes from a white to a golden brown. Next, we're gonna pour this mixture into a bowl and let it cool down for about 30 minutes. And you wanna rinse your pot right away or else it'll be hell to rinse later because this will get hard and sticky. After the mixture is cooled down for a couple minutes, or like I said, about 30 minutes, I'm gonna get a little cup and then I'm going to get some saran wrap and do this. And then I'm gonna pour half of the mixture into the saran wrap. So the cup basically helps to shape the ball of wax as opposed to putting it on a plate or something like that that would make it flat and spread out. This is gonna create a ball of wax that you can wrap and store. This recipe makes about two balls of wax. If you want to make more, you can. And the great thing is that the sugar in the mixture will prevent it from rotting or creating mold or anything like that. So it's really great. So I'm just going to grab some excess wax from the spoon and show you guys how I wax. So I apply it going against the grain of the hair growth and then I Pull it off like that and you can go over an area more than once because it's not going to pull off the top layer of skin like a traditional wax would. I just wrap this up in a saran wrap like so and then I store it in the same place that I store my honey and syrup. Okay girls, so that's how I make my DIY sugaring wax. You can use it anywhere on your body. It's gentle enough to use on your face, if you want to wax your mustache or your sideburns or your anywhere on your body. So yes, that's what I do for my body hair removal. That's all I do. My underarms, my vajizzle, and my legs, and oh, and my eyebrows, I tweeze, and I just don't really do much to them. I just tweeze them to clean them up. So I didn't want to include that in this video because it's kind of just basic and boring. So that is it for this video. Hope it was helpful. Hope you guys learned something because that is so important to me. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, again, subscribe. I upload new videos every single week. Leave me comments down below. Also, follow me on social media. Follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And other than that, you guys will see me in my next video. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.